Okay, uh, we're back to doing this thing. Uh, I don't remember what I did between this and the last one because it's been over a month. Um, I know. Give me a second. Uh, storage. Uh, media gallery. There's a bunch in here. I don't remember what was like uh, if any of this has been shown off or not. So, um, where did I? Okay. Um, I basically got everything from the last thing. What is this? Oh yeah, I learned you could. I I switched Betty to make uh, her new outfit, and it gave her this intro. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Mickey gifts. Stark wins is easy. Got Olaf to level four, and then he like immediately gave me a quest. Just who I was hoping to see. How would you like to help me tell a tale sure to dazzle all the villagers? Well, I've been searching everywhere for a great story to tell. First, I talked to a very friendly squirrel. Then I talked to Wally. Then I talked to Merlin. Oh, you made a loud screeching noise and ran away. Though I'm not sure that story will play with our audience. I think I skipped a thing and I didn't take a picture. So there might be something missing here. Uh, what did Wally tell you? He said, whoa. He's a machine of few words. What did Merlin tell you? Well, Merlin always knows the best stories, probably because he's magical and also the most aged person that I know. I don't remember his voice, so this is what I'm going with. It. He told me all about how you're fighting the forgetting, and I decided that's our story. The Legend of Kyrie. Skyward Sword. Wait, what? Oops. You want to put on a play on all, put on a play all about me? Good idea. That's pretty great. Phew, for a second I, there. I, I thought for a second there you wouldn't want the sudden fame. That's sure to come with being the subject of our epic tale. I'm literally the ruler of this kingdom. Okay, I'm listening, Kyrie. Please regale me with your feats of heroism. Spare no details. Wait, wait. We can't have a story young without a stack. What are you hungry for? Oh, because the man I, I know, he, he, I just thinking of you. Maybe you could ask Remy. He knows all about yummy food. I bet he'd know the perfect stack for story time. In that unlocked, that sort of that quest. Oh, five, six, seven. Uh, Dreamlight Dewey is eight, nine. I mined in the forest. I caught fish. I sold the fish. Yellow flowers. Got him to level 10. Uh, unlocked. Backpack. Platinum Mickey. The special Mickey hat. Uh, the steamboat. This is another Mickey costume. And I think it did a cutscene as well. I don't know if it did for the... For the second costume we got. I guess the first costume. The one that's not normal. But he did for this. Same with minis. Uh, fish with Donald. Shiny gems. Take a photo of crocodile. Donald gifts. Miracle pickaxe polish. Birthday cakes to villagers. Star coins. Gooseberries. Mind. Yeah. I did all this stuff. I'm just gonna. There we go. Um. Yeah, there was this, and it gave me it for free in the mail. I felt they did that. That was the last thing I did, obviously, because uh, it just took forever to get the things I needed for it. Uh, and this is, like, just the other day. I found a book, and it started that quest. And I was able to upgrade uh, Moana's boat again. It doesn't look any different, and I don't think it holds anymore, but it's now at level 11, so... Shrug. Maybe it gets the food faster. Uh, and this is the new uh, star path. Put on customized Mickey ears. Those ones are the ones you have to make. Any picked fruit. Went fishing with Scrooge, went mining with Mickey, star coins, serve people, mine. I found this thing in the forest. That started this, a three course thank you. Uh, I found a note in the swamp. And that started secrets and schemes. 
And that's it. That was a lot, but... And some of it we, may have, we may have already seen. Hi, Michael. Boy, am I glad to see you. Oh boy, I need to turn you down a bit. Just because you're louder than the rest of the game. What are you up to? I actually don't care. <laughs> See a real soon. We need 60 more daily discussions for that quest. I hate how this is always, like, lit up when you first enter the world. Um, oh yeah, so I didn't buy any of this stuff yet because I wanted to wait until I streamed. So let's go with the squirrel. And the hat. And balloons. And that's actually all we can get for now. Unless... Nope. Yeah, the rest of this, we need to do more stuff. Nightthorn's discussions with Goofy I should be able to finish today. Merlin I wasn't able to talk to, because uh, he has quests and I didn't want to start them. Flowers, duties, and eat waffles. I actually have the waffles, I've just been using them for extra energy. Um, I haven't played today yet. So we're starting off on the daily stuff. Also, I needed sugarcane and wheat, so I planted all that. I don't think I'll ever need any more. Yeah, see, the cap is still level. Or, yeah, still twenty. So I don't. I don't know. I suppose everyone's been telling you that I'm the bad guy. No one's told me anything about you for a long time. I've kind of been playing this game, not like. Every single day, but like, uh, I would just like randomly pick it up one day and then then not touch it for a while. Okay, now you're loud. Turn you down in my headphones. There's Woody, and then there's Anna on the bridge. So technically, I, I'm not even technically. I didn't even finish the last update. Because we still need one more vill villager, and now there's yeah. two more. Ooh, thanks. Okay. Um, let's head into Scrooge's place. Also, didn't you have a quest? Oh no, that's just that. For some reason, I thought he had he had some kind of quest. I got all the uh, big outfits out of the windowsills, and also like. A, until this most recent update the other day, these were all empty too. Oh, greetings, neighbors. But I've just been buying everything still. Oh, greetings, neighbors. Oh, greetings, neighbors. <laughs> greetings, neighbors. I love how he just keeps saying greetings, neighbor. Good day, dear. Just Goodbye buy now. everything. Blue. <laughs> Wasn't that a Christmas thing? I don't know. Hello. Hi, Kristoff. Uh huh. <laughs> Greetings, neighbors. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Uh huh. Anything good here? There's a fridge. Yeah, sure. Oh, greetings, Covered in notes. Neighbor. Sure. Why not? Uh, nothing there. There's a bunch of books. Greetings, neighbors. Thank you kindly. Eh. Don't need another one of them. That's an interesting bed. Oh, greetings, neighbors. Bye bye now. Okay. Is it only you two in here, or is there a third person? If it was Remy, we'd see him because he has the quests. Okay. Uh. Clear this out. I I have less than a hundred of the clothing uh, left to get in the game right now. I'm not sure if that counts as like the ones you have to like buy with the star coins or whatever they're called, the blue medals or whatever they're called. Um, but I'm not gonna like pay for stuff. I'm not gonna pay actual money because I don't care that much. I just want all these guys to like me. Howdy. Howdy. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. And hopefully you don't teleport away when, when, when you're done here. Now, come back. Oh, yeah, there's this new thing where you can sprint. And it's not really sprinting, but... um. 
do like surf on the ground. Oh, there's Wally. Or I guess skate on the ground or whatever. Uh, he has a new mission too, but I can't do it right now. I wanted to come over here to grab these and then I can sell these as well. This is mostly how I've been keeping my money up. And then I've also just been uh, grabbing fruit. Grabbing all those and then immediately selling them. Because I don't need them to cook for right now, so. Uh, after we sell this stuff, we'll go talk to people and get quests going. We need to talk to Merlin, we need to talk to Remy a couple times. And I think that might be it for now. How's it going? Definitely need to talk to Goofy today. Get rid of all of this. There we go. Hmm. Mm, okay, he disappeared again. Okay, um... Quests. Oh yeah, Buzz has a quest now too. Okay, so there's two for Merlin. We need to go talk to Remy for this and then talk to him to start that. Um, so yeah, let's go. I don't know if we need the doorknob for this. Did we already give it to him? I don't remember. And you found something strange in the Glade of Trust. Okay, so I, I know I don't have this stuff on me because I put it away. So let's go grab that. We already talked to Woody. Also, you can now color your chest, so when I needed another one for all this wheat that I grew, I just made a new red chest. Also, I knew you, I learned you could cook outside. For some reason, I thought you couldn't. Um, I think inside is where I put all the, the special stuff. I haven't done anything new to my house. Okay. So we don't need the doorknob, but we do have this book for Minnie, this for Remy, and this for Merlin. So just grab all that. That other book, we still have no idea what it's for. It was found in Mickey's secret basement. Is Remy in his shop or in his house? In his shop. Also, Goofy's there. Goofy's there. We can give him... Uh, we can talk to him. Oh, there's also Minnie. Let's talk to people first. Hello. Hi. Um, Any deep thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Goofy. Good to see you. Oh. oh. <laughs> cool. Uh, mine shiny garnets. Okay, I'll do that eventually. Mini. Oh wait. Eh, I guess we can give her this. Hey, we found this book for you. I'm so glad you came hey, Mini. I found this book lying in the meadow. I thought it might have been Merlin's, but it's got notes in your handwriting stuck inside it. Oh, thank you. I've been looking for that everywhere. What are you doing with a spell book? Looking to hex somebody? Oh, no. Even I... Even if I were trying to do magic myself, I could never put a spell on anyone. Well, unless it was a good spell, like being able to understand what kittens are saying. Hee <laughs> hee. I, I... Yeah, put it on me. I found some books from Merlin because, well, I wanted to find out everything I could that happened to me. What happened to you? You mean, when you... When I disappeared to the here and there. Oh. I've been having some trouble sleeping. I'm just so worried that it might happen again. Uh... I'm sorry you feel that way. Oh, thanks. But it's not me I'm worried about now. Oh. If I could disappear, then anyone could. Sometimes I look at the other villagers and I'm frightened they're starting to disappear right before my eyes. Mm -hmm. I just know there has to be an answer somewhere in Merlin's library. There must be some way we can make sure no one ever disappears again. But I can't make heads or tails of any of these books. I'll go talk to Merlin, see if he has any ideas. We can... We have to solve this. Oh, I couldn't read that for some reason. Uh, I want you to feel safe here. You're so kind. And I do, mostly. Oh. I was trying to figure out all this out without bothering Merlin. But you're probably right. We could ask him for more help. I'll keep trying to see if there's anything in these books that might be a clue when you, while you talk to Merlin. Okay, so I have to go talk to Merlin for another thing. Oh, yeah. Daily, 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 daily conversation. Oh, 
Huh? Hello. Hi, Elsa. How's it going? Yeah. Staying cool? Hmm. Hope so. Thanks. Bye. Okay, where did... Oh, yeah. I don't know if we mentioned this, but, like, this got longer, and I don't know why. That's what she said. Excuse me, but I could use a human's help. Bonjour. Um... Daily conversation first. I haven't had a daily conversation with him in forever. Hello. Okay, uh, yeah, let's start with the story to tell. Huh, so you're looking for the perfect snack for story time? Say no more. When I think of stories and snacks, one thing really pops to, my, to mind. The flickering light of a cinema screen. The smell of salted butter. You, my friend, need popcorn. See, that's what I was thinking, but I'm not, also not a fan of popcorn, so... And for the perfect popcorn, you'll need corn and butter. Great, thanks, Remy. Wait, wait. You said Olaf will be there? Uh -huh. Well, I know how to make this recipe extra special. If you want to throw in some sugar cane. Oh, and you'll need to get some pure ice. <laughs> That's a secret ingredient. Mm. I'm sure Elsa would be happy to help with that. Thanks. Okay, so we need to go talk to Elsa for that. By the way, I found this. Yes, my bag of ingredients. I thought I'd never get this back. Uh, it was literally in the middle of the forest. I had a little misunderstanding with one of the raccoons in the forest. <laughs> he grabbed the bag and ran off. I thought I'd never get to finish my errands. <laughs> Note to self, don't mess with raccoons. Can I help? Hmm. Actually, now that you mention it, <laughs> I could really use your help. What do you need? Well, these were ingredients for some special deliveries. Mm. I wanted to make meals to thank everyone who stayed behind to take care of the valley during the forgetting. Uh, I'd love to help however I can. I really appreciate it. My little thank you isn't going so well. I've been pretty busy with the restaurant, so I haven't had time to cook all these meals I had planned. <laughs> if I gave you these ingredients, do you think you could finish making some meals for Merlin, Mickey, Mr. McDuck, and Goofy? You've been a pretty great sous chef in the past. <laughs> I'll put it on the bottom of my list. Sure, I hope. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Here, take the ingredients and make sure to cook them fresh. They've definitely got to be five stars. Come talk to me if you need any help thinking of meals. So I need to make f four meals that are five star. Got it. We work well as a team. Cook five star meals for Merlin, Mickey, Scrooge, and Goofy. Okay. And does it, it can just be any five star meal. But this is stuff that I'm gonna be giving away, so like. I only have eight leaks. Okay, we'll make one of these. Oh, cool. Um, okay. Um, we probably have a bunch of this stuff, right? Oh, we only have five shrimps, so we'll only make one of these. It's a pool, pool base. I don't know. Um, How are we on this stuff? We only have two lobsters. Let's not do that one then. What about this? This we I can do a couple of. Ranch salad. And then we'll just make another one. And then Goofy's right here so we can just hand it to him. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. You can have... I guess it really doesn't matter. You can have one of these. Hi there, pal. Gosh, this smells delicious, Kyrie. Who is it for? It's a little gift from me and Merlin. Remy, I don't know why I said Merlin. To you, thanks for... Always being yourself. Aw, oh, shucks. I'm speechless. Literally. Earth to Goofy. Oh, sorry, pal. I was just being speechless, like I said. Thanks, Kyrie. I can't wait to get 
with my favorite double ended fork spoon and dig in, huh, yuck? So long. So long. Also, I haven't seen the game crash while transitioning from one area to, to another in like forever, so I, I stopped doing the safety saves. Which means it's going to happen at some point. Uh, Scrooge is in there. There's Stitch that we haven't talked to today. Okay, let's go talk to Scrooge where he always is. I think the only time he's not in here is if he's hanging out with you. So. Um, Scrudge. Scrudge, there you are, Scrudge. Uh, you don't get that. You get one of these. Good day to you. Aye, now that's as fine a meal as I've ever seen. Are you just giving something like that away for free? Consider a little thank you payment for me and Remy for taking care of the village during the forgetting. Thank you, Mr. McDuck, for... Uh... Giving me a discount on my next purchase, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot blame you for trying, but I cannot give go giving away discounts like that. But I don't but don't think I don't appreciate Whoa! the gesture. <laughs> Any bit of oh, gratitude is worth more than all the gold in the Yukon. In sentiment that is. Bye bye now. Okay, bye. Um, I don't know where Merlin or Ma Michael are. But I know how to find out. Um, Merlin's in his house. Where's Michael? He is outside of his house. Let's go over here. Have you talked to Olaf today? I don't think so. I don't know. Talk to Olaf real quick and then we're over to Michael. Stop talking. I need to talk to Michael. Michael! Uh, here you go. I have some Bula base. Oh boy, what did I do to deserve this delicious looking meal? I whipped it up with a little help from Remy. We wanted to thank everyone who took care of the village during the forgetting. It's our way of showing gratitude to you for... Just being you. <laughs> Aw, that sure is nice of you to say. I, uh, I guess I don't... I don't know how I'd be anyone else. <laughs> Thanks, Kyrie. With you and Remy around, I just know the village is going get, to keep getting better and better. See y'all. Nope. Um, now we're going to see Merlin. We already talked to Mother Gothel today, so we don't need to talk to her. Okay, Merlin, we got a lot of talk about. But first, have some food. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, a three course, thank you. Let's start with that. Ah. Well then, what's all this? I don't recall requesting such an extravagant meal, though I am a bit peckish. It's a thank you meal, courtesy of me and Remy. We want to show our gratitude to you for taking care of this village during the forgetting, and for being the only one who knows what's going on half the time. That's the stuff. <laughs> well, it <clears throat> well, it helps to have a glimpse of the future, and to have a great deal of books to consult. Actually, I'm... Well, I'm afraid I haven't the faintest idea what to say. I suppose, hmm, I suppose I never expected to thank you. I was simply doing what was right. No need to say anything, just enjoy. Ah, I shall. Acts of kindness like this meal are what hold this valley together, Hi, Kyrie. Off with you now. <laughs> cool, and then we have to go back to Remy, but while we're here. Oh, oh, hello. Um, let's start with the golden doorknob. Let's see, the golden doorknob reacted to the acts of kindness. Yeah, didn't I have to, like, give something to a bunch of people? I don't remember. Aha, excellent work, Kai. We're getting closer, but we still need more dreamlight. What can I do? The best way to create more is simply to take care of the village. If you need a reminder of what you can do, don't forget to gaze in the waters of the plaza well. I'll go do that and check you later. I couldn't have done better myself. Okay. Um, a very magical mini. Ah, uh, Kyrie, I believe I know precisely why you've come to speak with me today. Yeah. It's only a couple things it could be. It's mini, isn't it? She's gotten herself in quite a jumble. Worrying she might disappear again, hasn't she? It's mini, all right. She asked me to come talk to you. You know, since you're Mr. Magic Guy. Uh, th thank you, I suppose. Though I'm not terribly fond of that moniker. 
Is there anything in your magic books that could help? Actually, I've given it quite a lot of thought, of careful thought. And I think I know precisely how we can fix this predicament. We use the most powerful kind of magic there is. First, you'll need to speak to some village and ask them what they like about what they like best about Minnie. Hmm, maybe I should ask Elsa, Anna, and Moana. Now, see here. And listen closely, the key, this part is key. Once you've spoken to them, you must bring me some dream shots. With all that, we can sort out Minnie's letter. Or at least, I very much hope we can. Okay. Off with you now. <laughs> lots okay. to do, lots to do. And then, secrets and schemes. I found some notes. Well. Hmm, what have you got there, Kyrie? Ha, ah, my notes. Why, I've been looking everywhere for those. They were next to water. You almost lost them to forever, dude. Mm, yes. And the good thing you found them, too. I wouldn't have wanted them to fall in the, to, into the wrong hands. Couldn't understand what they said. Must be important oh. wizard business. I suppose that's true in a sense. You see, I fear there's nefarious business afoot. What about feet? Free feet? Or do I have to pay? So I'll be getting noting down my observations. Oh, excuse me. Well, the Gothel and Ursula have been meeting all around the village. Those two are up to no good. I just know it. You can't trust either of them. That's why I've been keeping track of their little meetings. Four times now, I've helped them scheming together. They've been exchanging all matter of, well, mysterious ingredients and vials. And the moment I draw near, they clamp up and run off. Er, I suppose in Ursula's case, I mean to say, swim off. Hmm, we need proof. Well, yes, uh, you're quite right. And my soothsaying abilities can only tell us so much. We've got to know exactly what they're up to. Mm, Ursula and Mother Gothel indeed. both trust you far more than they do me. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. Superb. I suspect that you could get close enough to hear what they're scheming about. I'm kind of curious now, too. Well, now, curiosity is a fine reason to act. There is the old adage about it being rather unkind to cats, but... Oh god, I have cat ears. <gasps> We're screwed. But every discovery springs forth from at least a bit of curiosity. Uh. Now, I may not be able to prognosticate what Mother Gothel and Ursula are scheming about. Uh. But I do know precisely where they'll be meeting next. They gather each day in the Glade of Trust. They already met there earlier today, so we have to wait until tomorrow to catch them. Remember, gla the Glade of Trust. Well, are you running on now? They've already met today. I hate that. Remember when I said the game hasn't crashed between transitions? Hopefully it auto, it auto saved there. <clears throat> I had to say something. Oh well. So apparently I can't talk to them today. I'll just constantly, like, randomly go to the Glade of Trust and see if I can find them if they're there. If if they are, then I'll just record it. Or do the save thing. Save, uh... The last couple of minutes or whatever. Okay. Um... Probably just go back to Remy for that one quest, and then we'll see where we can go from there. See if he needs anything more. But I don't think there's anything, anyone we need to go talk to specifically. But there is another thing we could do, you know, those guys on screen. We could go do that at some point. Um... Okay, so I need to go talk to him again. Okay, get rid of this off the screen. Okay. You still at your house, dude? Yeah. Okay, let's go to mash X to talk to him. And hopefully it won't crash on us again. Hey, Santa. Well, hello. Um, secrets and schemes. Give. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, uh-huh, yep, uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Do a safety save. Also, wait, can I just talk to you again about the, the doorknob? 
Oh, I only needed 500? I have like 500,000, I think. Or some thousand. It's a lot. Brilliant, Kyrie. Your hard work has paid off. Mini Cassida is now ready to return to the village. You simply must decide where you wish for Maribel to live. And it will appear. Thank you. Cool. Very kind. So we just gotta put her house down somewhere. Um. Hmm. Ooh. Was this here all the time? And I just didn't see it? Okay. Um. I don't know where I would put her house. Also, her house is big. Holy shit. There's no houses in the Glade, besides some other Gothels that we can't move. Don't really want to put it on the beach. I was kind of thinking the forest, because there's already like a bunch of houses over here. But like, there's not a lot of like specific area, unless I put it like right here. Nope, it won't fit there. Um, I could build streets at some point. Woody and Buzz are over here. So is Scar. I want to live next to Scar, Maribel. Oh. Uh, is that the right orientation, I think? Yeah. Let's move it like an inch forward, though. Just a little bit, just so I can get behind it, should I need to. Welcome, Maribel. Do it. Oh, hi. Yeah! Uh, what movie are you from? I don't remember. Make friends. I need one more friend. Collection. Characters. The little animals here would really like my cousin Antonio. Where am I? How long have I been asleep? Wait. Am I back in the valley? You look so much better. And someone made all the darkness go away. You! You must be the one who did, did that. Oh god. Felicidades. Dedes. Dedes. So glad to be back. I don't know Spanish. Where were you? I'm not sure. It was it was strange and everything looked frozen in time. I woke up once to drink a glass of water, but I was so tired I went back to bed. I'm guessing you're the one I should thank for bringing me back. Uh, You're welcome. Something tells me we're going to be great neighbors. You live next to Scar. <laughs> I'm so happy to see this valley. Before the forgetting it was full of friends, happiness, and so much laughter, everyone helped each other. Just like they do in Encanto. Oh, that's the movie that you're from. I think that's what it's called, right? Encanto? I really love it here. That's why I was so sad to see people forget and leave. And then, when that darkness fell over everything... But now the darkness is gone, and there's dream light shining on everything again, and I'm back. I can already tell that you're doing amazing stuff here. I can't wait to see what happens next. Complete. Hi. Hola. Um, I can't hang out with you yet because you're not high enough level. Um, what do I have to give? I want some milk? You're welcome. Uh, you want some more milk? There you go. Now I think we can hang out with her. And she can follow us around. Ooh, those clothes look cool. Um, I feel like foraging is a thing for you. Let's go with that. Bring two gifts, hell yeah. And that also does this. Take a photo with Maribel. Mm. That was easy. Give Ursula her favorite gifts. Gross. Also, I have to give Merlin his favorite gifts. I forgot. Hey, Kyrie. Uh, do you have some time to help me with m Mini ca Casita? Uh, sure. What, what, what up? Nothing major, but there's some damage from the time you spent wherever it was it took me to protect me. Uh, sure, I'll help. Great. 
Let's go to Mini Casacita. It'll be easier to show you. Okay. Healing house. Go. 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 Oh, uh, I was like, just, I thought I was supposed to follow her, but I guess she's going to follow me. Hi, Michael. Hi, Wally. I didn't think she would immediately appear, so that's why we're not going immediately back to Rumi. Oh. Um. Is this the back or the front? Oh, this is the front. Oh, I still have it wrong. Did I have it right in the first place? I don't know. Uh, that way. There we go. That's how houses work. There's nothing in here. See, the floor and walls are pretty messed up. It's just, it's just dirty. What did it look like before? The floor was painted and the walls were bright and colorful. Hmm. Now they're just kind of blah. I want to fix them, then repaint them in greens and yellows. Where do you think we should start? Let's start with the basics. We'll need some materials, such as soft wood stone, to replace the damage. Dandelions, yellow, daisies, and green rising pentalons. I can get all that for you. That'd be amazing. Thank you. I'll start thinking about the new patterns. I'm going to paint and getting things ready in here. We okay. definitely have to talk again soon. I probably have all this stuff. Um, collection? Did I get some new clothes? I don't know. Um, let's go talk to Remy before we make sure we have all this stuff. Just because that might be the end of the Remy quest. Also, wait. Can I hang out with her? Did you come outside? No. Hi, um, hmm, I can't hang out with her yet. Want some more milk? <laughs> what are some of your favorite things? Um, don't have any of that. I have an egg. Have another egg. I just want to be able to t have her follow me so I can start leveling her up faster. I have another egg. I need the cheese or milk or something. You know, it's cheese or it's butter. Huh. It's butter. We need to keep the butter. Almost level three. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have some cheese. What? Now can I hang out with you? Oh, we got the glasses the so first time. Glad you're here. Um, nope. We definitely have to talk again soon. Sure. Okay, let's go talk to Remy then. Uh, Remy is still in the restaurant. That's what it's called. That's the word for place you go to eat. Remy gave away food. Um, we already talked to all these idiots. Where's Remy? Oh, there you are. Bonjour. You're back. Did you have time to bring those meals to them? How did they react? Did they enjoy them? Uh, you almost made Merlin cry. Really? Wow. It's pretty incredible when food makes people cry. You know, for the right reasons. And hey, while you were taking care of all that, I thought of a special meal I could make for you. Hmm. Aw, oh, thanks, Remy. Anytime. Here you go. One three-course thank you for everything you do Yay! around here. Bone appetite. Yay, I like free food. Thanks. Mission complete. Cool. Okay, so... Almost have 69 meals. Nice. Um... Talk to Elsa for some pure ice. Let's do that while we're here. Hello. You're making a snack and Remy told you to get some pure ice? That's interesting. <laughs> well, who am I to question the master chef? <laughs> here you go. That was easy. Why, thank you. Um, you need to grab corn, butter, sugar cane, and pure ice. Okay. 
while we're grabbing that, let's uh, go talk to Buzz and see what he needs for his quest. Uh, buzz, 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 buzz. He's outside of his house. Oh, so there's Ursula right there. Wonder if I can get to her before she leaves and have her conversation today. Ursula. Come here. Thank you. You're here, finally. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Goodbye, dear. Yep. Where's Buzz Boy? Buzzy boy. Ah, okay, just the space ranger I was looking for. I have another mission for you. It's a code G7B. Uh <laughs> stuffed animal fell into the dog's water ish? Yeah. Not even close, Space Ranger. An aquatic canine incident is a code G seven C. It's not a code G uh K nine. Code G seven B is a search and rescue. Remember those aliens that wandered away from Woody's carousel? At the time, I suspected a few were unaccounted for. And I was right. I have now intel that many of them are somewhere in the village. We have to rescue them. Precisely. Those toys could be out there frightened and disoriented. And uh, have you seen the size of the squirrels around here? They could turn those aliens into joys two toys in no time. Okay, where should I start looking? Do, do a survey of every sector of the village. There's no telling where the aliens might have gone. Toys are highly skilled at hiding in the backs of closets, behind beds, and between house cushions. Got it. I'll look everywhere in the village. Oh, and one final thing. These aliens could be a bit shy. They may not all come out of hiding at once. Keep an eye out them for it while you complete regular duties. I suspect they could pop up in a million, in multiple locations. Okay, so 25. Holy sh shorts. Okay. Well, we'll just randomly. Look for them, and if we if we see them, we'll grab them. Okay. Um. Can't do that right now. Talk to Merlin about Minnie's predicament. Oh, I didn't say that either. Ugh. Because didn't we already talk to him about that? I'm pretty sure we did. Oh. So there's literally just anywhere. Cool. Collect them all. Hmm. I feel like you're trying to reference something there. Just don't start fusing things together. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, we already did this. Uh -huh. Oh man, we gotta talk to Elsa while we were in there, but oh well. Game. Thank you. Um, healing house, we need to grab all that stuff, and then all that stuff. Okay, for mini, let's go talk to people. Um, Elsa's still in here. Mini's in there. So yeah, let's go talk to Elsa, please. There we are. I feel like all we're doing, gonna be doing today is just talking to people and getting the simplest parts of quests done. Elsa, I need to talk to you again. Hello, my friend. I need you to tell me the thing you love about, most about Minnie. Can you think of anything? Uh -huh. Well, I can think of a lot of things I love about Minnie, but there's one that comes to mind the most. <laughs> when you talk to Minnie, you just know that she's truly listening to you. She gives wonderful advice, but really, it's the listening that sets her apart. Mm -hmm. Was that all you needed? That's it. Thanks. You've been a big help. Why, thank you. That was cute. Now that it's crashed on me once, I'm paranoid that's gonna always do it, so I just got always gotta do safety saves now. Hey, look at toy. These probably stay in my inventory, don't they? Of course they do. Um, where is Anna and or Moana? Um, nope, nope, nope. Anna is out here. Let's go talk to her. Pretty sure we already did her daily conversation today. Yeah, because she was on the bridge. No, Anna. Hi. Hi. Uh oh, you know you have that look on your face. <laughs> the I have something strange and possibly magical to ask you about, so don't ask too many follow-up questions. Look. Bingo. Yeah, I knew it. Well, let's hear. It. How can I help? It's simple. Just tell me what you like best about Minnie. Huh? 
What I like best about Minnie? Oh, um, <laughs> that's a tough one. There's so much to like, to love, really. I guess if I have to narrow it down, I'd say that what I like best about Minnie is how she always makes me smile. She's so kind, but also so funny. She always notices the little things around here. She makes me laugh al almost as much as Olaf does. Did that help? That was perfect. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Cool. Where is Moana? Is she at her house? Ariel's also at her house. That was the wrong button. For some reason, I thought R2 was sprint. Oh, I'm stuck on nothing. Moana. Hey, what's up, Errol? Thanks for coming to see me. About Minnie? Hmm, well, there's... Ooh, or how about... Mm, oh, I can't forget. <gasps> I've got it. What makes Minnie the most special is your strength of heart. Heart, you say? <laughs> no matter what storms come... No matter what storms come Minnie's way, she just hoists the sail and keeps going. She never gives up. She knows everyone in the village. So she knows so many great stories. <laughs> Now that I think about it, she kind of reminds me of my grandma Tala. Goodbye. Okay, now we just need to grab the dream shots, which I'm pretty sure I have in uh, my chest at all, in the house. Um, let's go talk to Ariel just so we can have our daily conversation done. Because I'm pretty sure once we get that uh, to a thousand, uh, mm -hmm. we get a trophy. One step closer to that platinum. It might be possible to get it now. You have to build like 24 houses, as I think it is, but that's like uh, not including the houses that were already built. Also, I don't, I don't think like uh, Maribel's house counts because we didn't build it. We just placed it. Um, okay, let's get a find alien toys randomly. Can't do that right now. We need to grab dream shards. All this stuff. And this stuff as well. Okay. Um, that's not the button, dude. Also, while we're here, let's eat a thing. I should just eat in a pancake. It's fine. That's okay. Why are you forgetting get, forgetting buttons, bro? I could teleport, but I also just want to use up my energy so I can get rid of some of this stuff in my inventory. Um, dream shards is what we're going for first. So we need six. I have 79. <laughs> um, a split, we only need six for the time being. And transfer. Return to Merlin to complete the spell. Okay, well, maybe I should just grab everything that we need. Um, don't need anything in here for this. Or this, okay. So the rest of the stuff we should be able to grab out here. We need how much softwood? 15. I have way too much. That's hardwood. That's softwood. Um, we only need 15. That's 69. I don't want to disturb that. Split. 15. And then transfer. Okay. Um... 20 stone. How much stone do we have? Oh, that's the wrong one. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. I only need 20. Um, yellow daisies, dandelions, and green pantomons. It's the one chest that I didn't check. Yep, okay, so, um, two yellow daisies. I was like, where's the yellow daisies? We only need two. Uh, and then three of the other two, got it. Oops, I didn't mean to do all that. I only want three. Transfer three, or split three, and transfer. I only have seven of these, though, so I should probably, like, start keeping them. And not selling them. Okay, we have everything there, and then, um... We need two corns. Um... Two corns. Where is my corn? Right there. 
Good thing we have one open spot. Uh, two corns. Uh, butter, sugar cane. Um. Oh, butter is in my inventory. Okay. And then sugar cane. Do I have any in here? That's canola. There we go. How much sugar cane do I need? Just one. Split. One. Okay. So, two corn, butter, sugar cane, and pure ice. I guess I didn't need to grab all this. Two corn, pure ice, uh, butter, and sugar cane. There it is. Sweet frost popcorn. That is weird, but okay. You know, we'll take it. Okay. Now we just have to go talk to people. There's Olaf right there, so let's just do that here. Everyone is here. Here you go. Oh, good. You're here. Mm, Kyrie, that smells delicious. Now everything's ready for you to tell me your story. Gail me. Okay, so it all started when I fell asleep under a tree in the woods. Dot, dot, dot. And that's it. That's everything that happened to me since I arrived in Dreamlight mm -hmm. Valley. That's one of my top three best stories I've ever heard. Wow. Ah, oh, shucks. It was nothing. My favorite part was when you jumped to the portal to find Donald mm -hmm. Duck. Valley has so many memories. And if, going, if I'm going to write their story, I need to know every tiny little mm -hmm. detail. What happened to Kristoff and Donald's epic adventure? How did Kristoff survive in the woods the whole time Donald was missing? I must know everything. I guess we could go talk to Kristoff and Donald and uh, ask him. Good idea. Why don't you do that while I start figuring out the first act of the script? Ahem, act one, scene one. It was a night of vicious storms. Wait, no, you said it was sunny. Goodbye. Did I? Talk to Donald. I can't wait to meet everyone. I'm not doing a Donald voice. You want to know what happened when I was on my quest to stop the forgetting with Kristoff? You bet. I'll tell you all about my heroism. Let's hear it. One dark and stormy night, we were camping out on the summit plateau. Suddenly we saw a huge shadow on the wall of the cliff. It had wings as big as a house. It was a two-headed, 50-foot-tall, fire-breathing dragon. Wow, that's amazing. What's more amazing is how I fought it off with just my own two hands. Next, we went to the forget Forgotten Lands, where things got even worse. A giant chasm opened up underneath me, then a sea monster grabbed me and tried to drag me in. Wow, that's scary. No, I wasn't that scared. I fought that sea monster off and saved Kristoff, too. After that, we went to the Forest of Valor and a horrible evil. Oh, wait. You know the rest. If you don't believe me, then go ask Kristoff. He'll tell you all about it. Sure. Is he still in the store? He is. I believe 100% of that. Also, I only have 120,000 dreamlit. Not 500,000. I'm sorry. I lied. So, uh, I kind of. Let me tell you help. about my adventures with Donald Duck when the forgot freeing happened? Uh, -huh. uh, well, it really wasn't much of an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> we cam camped out in the Sunlit Plateau for a while until the giant night thorns started to creep up everywhere. Then Donald saw something that got him really mad, and he tried to fight it. Right, the huge dragon told me about. <laughs> dragon? Not exactly. He just shot a saw shadow and thought it was a dragon. It was a hummingbird. Donald got in a fight with a hummingbird. It's not very heroic. Like I told you, it wasn't much of an adventure. We just kind of hung around. And after that, we went to the Forgotten Lands. That's where the ground opened up and a giant sea monster grabbed Donald, right? Uh... No, Donald stepped in a puddle and splashed water everywhere. Then a frog jumped out at us. <laughs> Not a cool monster? <laughs> Sorry. I read something I wish I had something more exciting to tell you. After that we went to the Forest of Valor and well, you know the rest. I'm guessing Donald's version of the story is sounding a lot more dramatic. I really appreciate Just a bit. Oh. Were you following me? Or did you just come out of nowhere? Either way, that's scary. Did Chuck, Donald, and Kristoff tell me everything? Oh. Wait, wait. Let me close my eyes so I can picture it all, all in my imagination. Well, it all started on the Sunlit Plateau when 
may face down a dragon, or possibly a hummingbird. Dot dot dot. And that's it. That's everything Kristoff and Donald told me. So much talking. But that's two diff completely different stories, huh? Who do you think was telling the truth? Truth is in the eye of the beholder. I'm afraid that theme won't be very gripping for our audience, Kyrie. They want excitement. And Donald's version of the story was much more exciting. I'm going to go ask him to help me write the scripts. It's going to be a play to remember. Oh, but the story has so many locations. The Sunlit Plateau, the Forgotten Lands, the Forest of Valor. I really should see them all while I write so I can fully capture the ambience. No problem. I have this thing called a camera. I can use it to take some pictures for you. Then you'll be able to look at them to set the scene. That'd be wonderful. Thank you, Kyrie. You're truly a friend of the Theta. Can you give me a picture of the Pillar of Courage in the Forest of Valor? The Elephant Graveyard on the Sunlit Plateau. And the Ruins in the Forgotten Lands. I'll oh, be back I soon. No, we're going to be good friends. Okay. The only one of those that's really specific is the Pillar of Courage. The other ones are like, eh, just that location, I guess. Okay, are you following me? Good. Uh, let's... Hmm, I think we could just do either of these. Um, let's go talk to Merlin about Minnie's thing. Is he still at his house? Yep. Ooh uh, which way am I facing? This way. Knock, knock, let me in. Let me, let me be your secret sin. I mean, I mean, I got the stuff for the, the thing. Well, hello. Well, hello. <laughs> Is there anything else we need for the spell? Spell? What spell? Oh, oh dear. I'm, well, I'm afraid we've had a bit of a misunderstanding. I merely needed these dream shards for my research. Terribly sorry. I thought you understood. No, no, I'm afraid there isn't any sort of spell or enchantment that will solve Nitty's problem. There must be some way to help her. Oh yes, not to worry. There certainly is. You see, what protects Minnie, what protects all of us here, is an altogether different sort of magic. Friendship, love, care, that's what binds this family together. And kind words and small favors are the source of all this magic. Minnie simply needs to be shown that spirit will never leave this place. So that's why you wanted me to talk to folk. Some of the folk. Talk to some of the other villagers. Where did I get folk from? If I tell Minnie what they said, it will remind her of, of the love that binds us all together. And that everyone is safe here as long as we never forget it again. I'll give it a try. Thanks, Merlin. Off with you now. <laughs> Back to Minnie. Makes sense. You can't really die if you never are forgotten. I think that's what people say. I don't know. Where's Minnie? Ah, uh, Minnie, 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 Minnie. Minnie, 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 Minnie. Are you in here? You are in here, okay. I thought I saw you in there, and I was correct. Use up some stamina. Because I can. Ah, uh, there you are, Minnie. Oh, good. You're oh, hello, Kyrie. Was Merlin any help sorting out this magical muddle? The book he lent, had so, he lent me had so many interesting information. So many? So, wow, I can't talk today. Nothing that will help us. Mm, he helped put some things in perspective. Oh, good. Merlin's so helpful that way. What did he tell you? He told me that there's a magic more powerful than any spell holding this village together. It's kind of magic that runs on... Always being there for each other. Really? That does sound like a very special kind of magic. Merlin got me to talk to some of the other villagers so we, we could remind you how important you are around here. Elsa told me about how you're always there to listen. She's literally right there. She's probably li listening to this conversation. And Anna told me that nobody can make her laugh like you do. Except maybe Olaf. And Moana said that she loves what she loves best about you is your strength of heart. That you never give up, no matter what. Oh my, I don't know what to say, Kyrie. That is so sweet. And I'm very grateful, but how does that stop us from disappearing from into the here and there? Because that's the magic mini. We'll never disappear again, as long as we... Uh... 
Never stop caring for each other. Oh, oh, of course. It's so simple. I'm a little embarrassed that I didn't oh. see before. Well, I guess I can return these books to Merlin as long as I have you. As long as you and I are here, I know everything will be okay. Because I, I'll always make sure everyone knows. I can't read today. Oh, my God. How loved they are. And I'll always solve all the weird problems around here. <laughs> I know you will. Oh, I just thought of something else. I was so worried about everyone else disappearing. I didn't realize how much clay I asked you to bring me to build the rustic clock tower. Was it too much? It was so much clay, me. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kyrie. I didn't realize how hard it would be to find. To thank you, I found some clay myself. I want you to have it so you can build whatever you like. And Uncle Scrooge says he's happy that the rustic clock tower is helping, is helping keep time in the village. So he wants to give you a little reward too. Here you go. 50 clay, wow. And 500 money. That's it. <laughs> Gain 500 star coins, yep. Nice. Have a daily conversation. I'm pretty sure I've already talked to everyone. Gross. Uh, okay. That is a lot of clay. That is. Okay, let's go talk to Maribel now. Oh, I can't teleport out of here. I forgot. I didn't remember how much clay she wanted. Also, the clock is not currently up, so Scrooge can't tell time. Cool. Um, is she was last seen in her house. She's not currently there. Uh, Maribel, Maribel, where is Maribel? Hello? Did she disappear? That's Buzz Boy. Donna, Moana, Ariel. Mother Gothel. No, no, no. I think she despawned. Which I'm not surprised by, honestly. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't see her anywhere. Okay. Just blow back into the game and hope she exists again. <gasps> we forgot about her again. Oh no. Oh no. How dare we? How could we? She disappeared again. We need, we need to think about her again. How do we think about her? Oh wait. We already are. Hopefully she'll just, just respawn. If not, then we'll do something else. Go and start this thing. I don't think we'll even get to that today, but that's fine. We'll get to it when we get to it. Oh, to Mirabelle in her house. So she probably is in her house. It probably just didn't tell me because game is dumb. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe she'll just spawn in her house. If she isn't already ready there. Um, let's eat a waffle. Get some of my stamina back. Oh, yep, there you are. You never, you never left, did you? There you go. Hi. You found everything. Thanks. Uh -huh. Your timing's perfect. I'd know just how I want it all to look. Let me give you a hand. It'll go faster if we work together. <laughs> You're the best. Yeah. You know, this reminds me of when people are in can of our Encanto. I, I don't know what Encanto means, so... Our village? Maybe? Uh, came together to help my family rebuild Casita. It meant so much to all of us. It really means a lot to me that you're offering to help. If you're ready, let's do this. Oh, wow. Me and Kanta. What? It's so much better. Muchas gracias. I couldn't have done it without you, which is why I want you to have this. <gasps> oh. These tiles are just like the ones you use for your floor. Yep, you can use them in your house if you want to. Looks like we gotta fix up mini casita. Caring for your house is an important part of turning it into a home, don't you think? Uh, I, 
I never really thought about it that much. But you might know, have a point. Maybe I should put more love into my house. Well, I'd love to help you do that. I could add a couple of things to my place. Scrooge McDuck might have what I need. Oh, uh -huh. And if he doesn't, you can always place an order. I've heard it's pretty easy. It is. Bye. Do I have to actually go put things in my house? Oh, God. Purchase furniture from Scrooge's store. Great. Thanks. Oh, hi. You want to hang out now? Hola. Mm, nope. Mm, you want some clay? <laughs> I want one of these meals that I'm not going to eat. Because I already have so much food. I need to pick flowers and just give those to you. Okay, let's go to Scrooge's place. Well, I could be picking up flowers, but nah. We got stuff to do. I love being able to just slide everywhere. Um, buy furniture. We already did, so give me this plant. Hello. <laughs> Thanks. Remember, time is money. Change wallpaper, change floor, add furniture in your house. Gross. This is a quest. <laughs> the only thing that's in my house is a single chest. <laughs> I think there's still an oven in there because I didn't get rid of it when I made this other one. I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, change the wallpaper and the floor. Okay, this is the wallpaper. A moosing pattern. No, I'm not. I'm not even gonna do that as a joke. Outer space wall. No. Nope. Not that one. No, nope, not that one either. This one. It has to all match, otherwise. That's a lot of points. Yeah. Also, hi, Natha. How's it going? I noticed you put it some points in. Ha! <laughs> Moo room. I hate it. I don't have any good floors. Besides the one that I already have. Dark marble. Er, sure, whatever. And then we have to put down five things. Um... I have several beds. Thorny bed. Let's put that here, because I can. Um, antler chair. Um, what else weird things do we have that I can put down? Spooky speaker? No. I have six toasters. <laughs> Got ready, got everything ready for Easter. Nice. Just chilling now. Nice. I don't think I'm doing anything for Easter besides working that day. So <laughs> I could put a lounging rock in my house. That's weird. I thought I had some weird, more, some war. Words are hard. Some more weird stuff. I have this comfy couch that kind of looks like Mickey's pants, which is weird. Uh, rotate. There we go. Just made a lot of food and that's it. <laughs> nice. Let's put this other weird couch over here. Uh, and I think technically we still need like one more thing. Tall bookshelf. Because, uh, books. Boom. I did it. Return to Maryville. What am I doing? That's what I'm trying to do. Why are you the way that you are? I I, I don't know. <laughs> no idea. I wonder if you sprint faster with the gold uh, stamina bar, or if it's the same speed as the blue, because then why not just so stay in the blue? Just inviting you to see what I've done with my place. Can't wait to see it. Let's go. Come on. Follow her back to your house. Uh, it's my house. Oh, you can't sprint if you're if you don't have the gold stuff. That's interesting. Okay, give me a pancake and whatever this is. Those night thorns are the worst. I ate all the waffles. Sell what? Bon what else? 
Not sure if I had seen that alert before. Yeah, uh, I switched over to the blurp alerts so that it's new stuff. I just picked a couple that uh, seemed uh, fitting for me. Let's go with that. Amazing. This house shows that you don't always need actual magic to make magic happen. Yeah, this is totally magic. Way to go, superstar! I knew you could do it. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, both their houses are looking so much better. I'd say that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Now that Mini Casita is fixed, I really want to make myself useful by helping you help the other villagers. Because that's what La Familia... Fa familia. Madrigal is, ma Madrigal is all about helping the community. I can't words. But your eyes and ears around here and let you know if anything anyone needs help. See you soon. And thanks again for your help with Mini Thank Casita. You so much. Can you hang out with me now so I can level you up faster? It's so good to see you. There we go. Need some help? I'm your girl. Hello, yes. It's about time. Um, what else do I need to do for this stuff? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it's in the event. I was like, what am I doing? Night thorns, we still need to find those. Merlin and Ursula's favorite gifts, mine shiny garnets. Okay. Um Characters. Merlin. Dream Shard, Blue Hydrangea, and Crudites. Blue flower. Blue flower. It's not nope, it's, it's this one over here. Um this thing. Yeah. I just need one. Uh dream shard is in the house and crudites I have to cook. Plus I don't remember what it is. It's a carrot, which I have too many of. It's a vegetable, I guess. And grab a dream shard. And then we'll go give him some gifts. And then we have to go find Ursula too. Um, split one. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go see Merlin. Give him gifts to Merlin instead of... Uh, I already forgot your name. Because I don't know your movie. <laughs> Oh, Merlin's not in his house anymore. He's in the store. Maribel, that's her name. I was thinking, like, Mariel from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Well, hello. I have something to give you. Um, uh, have this weird plate of stuff that I just threw together with eggs. Um... And then you can have this, because I heard you like it. Dug it out of the ground. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Uh, oh, I didn't have a daily I'll conversation say. with you yet. Why not? Now, see here. Nice. Off with you now. <laughs> lots to do, lots okay, to you do. can also have this flower. <laughs> Merlin, wrong holiday, dude. <laughs> You're not wrong. I just never changed it back. Okay, we did this um we still need to give ursula some gifts and i need to give one more to merlin tomorrow um ursula 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 characters what there's more characters what spoilers game ursula fruitcake bruce blue star lily and pumpkin puffs i don't think i've ever made any those i don't mm, food I know I have the flower. Uh, blue star lily. Is that it? No, that's blue passion lily. Do I have the flower? Oh, yeah. It's this one right there. Okay. What did you want me to make? I already forgot. Uh... Fruitcake and pumpkin puffs. Okay, have I made any of that before? I think I made a fruitcake once. Fruitcake, pumpkin puff. Uh, nope. Just 
just trying to scan it real quick as I just scroll down. There's a fruitcake. I have more than enough to do that. Okay, and then I don't think I've ever made pumpkin puffs. Nope. Go, go. Help me. Disney Dream Light Valley Pumpkin Puffs. Thanks, IGN. Tell me how to make it. Uh, pumpkin, egg, and cheese. Okay. Um, just get that, that all there. Pumpkin. That's mushrooms. Yeah, okay. It is egg. I have 100 egg and 8 cheese. I need to buy more cheese. Okay, here's the fun part. Where is Ursula currently? She's not in her house. She is... non-existent. Cool. Oh, there she is. Let's see if we can get to her before she goes somewhere else. You have yourself a great night. It's... it's... it's like... noon. What are you, why, why are you trying to tell me how to good night? Power is the only key to real happiness. Yep, whatever you say, lady. Uh, you can also have this fruitcake that you want in April. Okay. And you can also have whatever this thing is. There you go. Okay, um, we need to mine this stuff for one of the, it's not really a quest, it's like a time limited thing. Also, Maribel will like it, so. Ooh, we got a butt. I like having butts. Also, we have 69 meals. And puffs for the 69th meal. Okay, it could, because she helps with uh, gathering, I'm going to pick all this. She's going to throw a lot of stuff at me. Oh god. Plus this will help level her up fast. If I end up picking up some of the extra stuff, then I, I will. If not, then I'll just leave it and pick it up some other time. <laughs> level 4. Oh god. I'm never ready for when the trees go golden. Oh, she has a quest if I, if I talk to her. Cool. Yeah, just run through this area mashing X next time I'm through here. Because there's just going to be a bunch of extra shit just laying around. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, grab whatever I can. Grab these because they're probably going to start. They're probably going to stop sparkling soon. And then we'll talk to her and start that quest. Find out what we need for that. There's so much blue, dabba dee dabba die. We got ourselves a hero. Where? <laughs> I like how there's just like a row of coffee beans. I know I said I was going to leave it, but OCD says no. OCD says no CD. I was like, why, why did that come from? Because I picked up the thing out of the ground. Thanks. Okay, let's go sell all this stuff. 
I could give it to her, but also that, that would take time, and also I just don't want to. I'll get her ranked up soon Hi enough. There, pal. Okay, um... Keep the butter, keep the cheese. Don't need that. Uh, really don't need the coffee beans. I guess I'll keep the clay. I probably don't need it, honestly. And I'll keep the flour. Oh. Oh. What do we do here? Harvest the three fruit? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, let's start her quest. Hey. Sorry to bother you, but I think... Well, I think the forgetting took my took a memory from me. An important one, and I could use some help getting it back. What was it? It's a recipe, you see. I was thinking that since we're back in the village and more and more people are coming back to the village, that calls for a celebration, and I have the perfect food for it. Oh, cool. At least it'll give me this recipe that I can make. But ba ba buenuelos. Mm. Except I can't remember the recipe to, to give to Remy. I can barely even remember what they taste like. No matter how hard I concentrate, there's nothing but emptiness in my head where it was supposed to be. Mood. Like, it's been erased or taken, somehow. Mm. And that's my mama's recipe. Losing it is like losing a part of me. I'm sure we can find it together. Oh, I'm so glad you helped. And I've got an idea where we can start. Somehow, the magic in Mini, mini Casita kept a fresh plate of them in the cupboard at all time. Mm. That's me on Monday. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could do a taste test, see if we can figure out what ingredients go into them. Though I'm not nearly as good as co as cook good as as good a cook as Mama. She's a true artist. Not to mention her meals can heal you, literally. Give me the plate. All is grimy. He's a real food expert around here. Great idea. Here you go. Okay. A taste of home. Okay. Um, I'm looking for the. The, the night shards for today because they usually show up like once in an area a day and that would be a quest or yeah one of those time quests it's not in this place let's mine this while we're here though yes that thank you it's either in here or it could be in the swamp I don't think we've been there oh yeah I need a picture of this thing while we're here Cheese. I hope that counted right. Uh, quests. Did that count? Yeah, okay. Um, the night shards are not here. Okay. But I do need to pick these flowers. Okay, so like, since the newest update, the flowers all look the same. But when you pick them up, that one was green. That one was blue. So they're just displaying wrong for some reason. Don't know why, but whatever. How are you dying around ice? I guess you could be frozen. That makes sense. Let it go. I was like, what's that? That's one of them stupid toys. Thank you. Just gonna be randomly finding toys everywhere. I wanted two dried up flowers, hell yeah. So it could be the dark place too. The the forgetting land. Sprinting uses up so much stamina. Why can't we have infinite stamina game? I know one of these flowers I need for like a one of the t event quests or whatever you want to call it, but I don't know exactly what flower it is, so I'm just gonna pick them all. I know it's green, but still, pick them all. God, I pick them all, flower things. I see another alien. I think these are just gonna like constantly randomly spawn. 
So until I get 25, we're just not gonna worry about it. Are these flowers displaying wrong too, or am I, are they all just the same? Nope, those were all just the same. Okay. Too bad she doesn't like it when I pick up flowers. But she likes when I smash rocks. That makes sense, I guess, somehow. I know she likes when I pick up these things. I'm just going to pick up everything, and if she likes it, then yay. If not, then I got something to sell. I'm not going to pick up the wood, because I really don't want to. And plus, I have enough wood. Yeah. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was looking for the... The night thorns, that's what they're called. Hi, thanks, bye. Eh, do it. We gotta find shiny stuff. Okay, didn't see any night thorns here. Oh yeah, isn't this what I need to take a picture of for the thing? That's the wrong button. There we go. Is that good for you? Yes, okay. Then I have to take a picture of something in the Forgotten Lands. What was it? The the ruins. What are the ruins? I don't know. Also, I don't. I still don't see any night thorns. Oh. Okay. Go Faye. Good to see you. Take my stuff away. Uh yeah, I just get rid of like most of this. I probably don't need it. Right, right, right. Thanks. Okay, now back to picking flowers. It's so dark and spoopy over here. Lots of spoopy music. Oh, you know what? I think I turned off streamer mode. But I don't think uh, anything is really different. Like, there's more music. But, like, I doubt it's going to be copywritten. It, it still could be, though. Just because it's in a video game and it sounds normal. I don't know. We'll see. If this VOD doesn't exist, then we'll see. We'll find out. Yeah! Level 5! We're halfway there! Bon Jovi would be so proud. Um. Yeah, which of these is the ruins? Because I don't know. Just start picking, taking pictures of everything. Uh, are those the ruins? That looks pretty ruined, right? Nope. Uh, is it that thing over there? Nope. Uh... I don't, I don't know. You sure? Oh no, we got it. The game just didn't tell me immediately. Okay. Pick some flowers over here. I'm just gonna leave what she's dropping on the ground. And I'll grab it some other time. Because at least here I don't really see it. <laughs> okay, let's sell this stuff. Oh, my ear itches. Hi there, pal. Hi there, goof. How's it going? Um, I'll keep the coal. 
keep that wood. Uh, keep the stone. I don't need that wood. Don't need that, 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 or diamonds. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Let's give me more energy. Um, we haven't been to the swamp yet today. But first, let's go to the house. Drop some stuff off. Uh, nothing to go in there. Take all that stuff. Don't have any flowers to put away. Put my butter away before it melts in my pocket. Don't have. I don't have any fish. There we go. Do I not have butter in here? I do now. And then put my sticks away. Put my wood away. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go to the swamp real fast. See if there's any night thorns there. If not, then they, they didn't spawn today. I thought they spawned every day. I don't see any. Oh, there they are. Oh, I literally just walked past two of them. Cool. Oh, God, is this one? There we go. Yay, money. If I do a bunch of these, there's a uh, trophy for them, too, so... That's nice, Buzz. Also, she likes when I pick up mushrooms, so pick up all the mushrooms. The only character I really use to like help pick up stuff is Stitch when I whenever I do any gardening, just so I can get all the extra gardening stuff. Got this while I'm here. this because it, it'll make her happy. Need to be picking flowers too. I forgot about the flowers. I need more food again. Sprinting uses up so much energy. Who would have known? Who would have guessed? Anything else here? There's a flower. Yay, there's that thing. Serve customers in, in, in Remy's. Okay, five of them. Uh, do we have enough to get anything? We have 80. We have enough to get this stupid hat that I'm never going to wear. We also have 45. Let's get this. It's a small world pillar. Okay, uh, flowers. I think there's more mushrooms here. Thank you. I like how she just slides over to pick them up. Okay, we do need to go to Remy's place and make some food. We also need to go talk to Remy. Um, there's something else I needed to do. Oh yeah, we need to go talk to Olaf. Where is Olaf? Is he in here? That's me. Goofy Eric, where is Olaf? Olaf, Olaf. Olaf, I wish to say Olaf. There you are. Running around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. I really don't know the rest of the words. It's over here somewhere. Oh, thank you. Oops. Oops, what? Oh, he's up here. Also, hi, Stephen. What did you oops? Oh, I don't know why I was skipping that. That was part of the quest. Oops. There's my oops. You have another quest? Oh, good. You're here. Hi, Kyrie. So good news. 
We're almost ready to put on the play, but I'll need your help first. You've been lurking? Okay. Well, hi. How's it going? I hope you're well. Mm. That's wonderful, because Donald and I have finished the script. I oops a bunch of points into the challenge. Oh, okay. Oops. Great, can I read it? Oh, no, not yet. Why? Mm. Well, we have it all written in our minds. Oh. That's not written, then. But we haven't written any of it down. Better get oh. to work. I didn't want to interrupt our creative flow by going to fight ink. <sighs> and I don't have anything to write it down on either. No problem. I'll get some soft wood so we can whip up, whip up some paper. Find some purple marsh milkweed and an empty vial to make some ink. Purple marsh milkweed. Hmm. Fabulous. It was as soon as you have all that, bring it to all. He's going to write the story down. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and one last thing. Could you ask Donald if he'll start it as himself in the play? Thanks. Thanks. Oh, this makes me so happy. Oh, uh, okay. I think we have some of the One purple flowers. Yeah. Oh. Need more stamina. Um, what was I doing here? Oh yeah, seeing if I had the flowers to make the purple ink. That's not the right thing to do. Uh, purple ink. Oh yeah, I have enough. Purple ink. High quality paper because I have so much wood. Um, I don't think there's anything else for us to do. To make. So I can give that to Donald. Let's go to Remy's real place. Real, Remy's place real quick. I can't words today. Words are hard. Give me a soda. Okay, I need to serve five people in here. There's only three. Cool. Excuse me, but I could use a human's help. Uh, that sucks. Um, I don't think I've ever made Wonderland cookies. Vegetarian pizza and Snow White's gooseberry pie. Okay. Um, I already forgot what some of them were. One of them was a pizza, vegetarian pizza. The other one was a pie. Vegetarian pizza. I only have seven cheeses. I need more cheese, guys. Yay. Um. I forgot what the other one was. It was some kind of pie. Um, that one. I only have three butters. I need cheese and butter. And the other one was some kind of cookies, which I don't. Oh, we have made them. Cool. I need more butter. Oh, hey, I do a thing. Um, cheese. Let's buy like 40, because you can only hold 50 in a stack, and I already have more than one, so it, uh, I don't know. And then we'll just buy 40 butters as well. Ow! <laughs> just imagine going to the grocery store and just walking out with 40 sticks of butter and 40 things of cheese. Can I get a little help here? Thanks for coming over. Hi, right, here's your food. Take care. Yay. I did a thing. Oh, Manny. Hi. Right. Eat. Eat these cookies. Go Go eat. Go eat. Like Hi, right, have a pie. Whoa. Cool. Um, Rami. You're still just sitting there. Hi, right, how do you make this? What's this? A plate of... Oh god, I can't... Mm. Buenuelos. Woo! Got it. Thanks, Harry. The, this looks incredible. Did you make them? Nope. Maripo gave them to me. Mm -hmm. Maripo's back? That's fantastic. Nope, she's not back. She, she's, still, she's still missing. She really understands the power of a good meal to bring people together. Uh -huh. Though it took me a while to get that. When she said her mom's cooking could heal people. 
She meant actually heal people. Pebble used to help me throw these amazing parties. She'd always had gifts crafted for all the guests. I hope we can do that again. That's the thing. The forgetting took Maribel's memory of the buen, buenuelos. Buenuelos. I got it. I'll get it eventually. We need you to taste one and see if you can figure out the ingredients. Think you're up for the challenge? Cul culinary challenge? I can't even say words in English. Of course. Okay, let me taste them. Hmm, a little stale, but still good. As for the ingredients, fritters almost always use the same base. Wheat for the flour, milk and eggs. Uh -huh. Milk, eggs, wheat. There's definitely a fourth ingredient, but I'm going to challenge you to find it. You're a gifted sous chef, but you've got to train your palate to stay sharp. I'll give you a clue. It's something salty, but it's not meant it's not meat or fish or vegetable. And it's closely related to another basic ingredient in the recipe. I'm sure you can find it on the shelves in my restaurant. So we need wheat, milk, eggs, and a mystery fourth ingredient. Salty, salty, salty. Peanuts. I hope this works. Um Okay, that's not wheat. Um, uh, wheat, butter, not, oh yeah, oh yeah, peanuts and milk. That's right, right? Nope. The hell did he say? I was not paying attention. Milk, wheat, eggs. Oh, not butter, you idiot. Egg, milk, peanut, wheat. I have 683 wheat. Oh my god. What? Is, is it is it butter? It said he said salty. What? Milk, wheat, eggs, and a fourth ingredient to figure out the Buenuelos recipe. Milk, wheat, eggs. And he said it was salty. Where are you, you little shit? Give me a hint. Hello. Oh, I can't even ask him. Okay. Can I ask you? Where, where'd you go? No, I want to talk to Mary Bell. Um, I told you that the base for Buen Yellows was wheat, egg, and milk, right? But he wants us to figure out the fourth ingredient, and the clues he gave you were that it's something salty that's not meat or fish, or a vegetable, and it's closely related to another basic ingredient in the recipe. He sounded like he could find it on the shelves of his restaurant. What? Is it? Is it butter? Or is there something... Oh, is it, like, something else that I can, like, literally see? Or is it something that I can't buy? What? Gabe, you can't do puzzles. We, I can't do puzzles. Salty. What? How is it not peanuts? I'm so confused. Why am I dumb? Egg. Milk. Wheat. I don't think it'd be butter. Hey, porridge. Egg. Milk. Wheat. It wouldn't be mint. Oregano? Is that salty? Is that on the shelf that I can't buy? No. 
I'm so confused and dumb. How is it not peanuts? Egg, milk, wheat. Can't be the snow cone, because that is that makes absolutely no sense. Is it cheese? I, I don't. I wouldn't see how it could be cheese. How is it cheese? Is there cheese on this shit? Also, didn't you say it was salty, you dumbass? You asshole. Hey, Maribel. There you go. I made your stupid dish. These look so good. Almost as good as the ones my mama makes. But there's only one way to know for sure. You've got to taste them. Huh. Delicioso. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I ate almost the whole plate. You must have found the recipe. After tasting them, my memory of them is coming back. It's pretty simple. In the end, it was just wheat, milk, eggs, and cheese. Thanks so much. I could, I could never figure it out without you. Hmm... You're, you're fine. Thanks for believing in me. You know what we should do? Make more Bonillos to the villagers. Like Mickey, Mr. McDuck, and Goofy. They stayed behind during the feeding. I bet they could really use some good, comforting, homemade Bonillos. I'll bring them each plate. I gotta make more. Cool. Um, what was that one quest? The one thing? Duty? Um, sell them. Okay, so I had to make 13. Cool. <laughs> Recipes. <gasps> One. <gasps> Two. <gasps> Three. Four. Five. Ah, ah, ah. Six. Seven. We're over halfway there. Eight. Nine. What comes after nine, kids? That's right. It's ten. And what comes after you? Ten? That's right. One T one. And what comes after 1T1? That's right, 1T2. I have 666 wheat. But I need to make one more. What comes after 1T2? That's right, 1T3. I need more cheese then. If I'm gonna. If I, since I used all that shit, buy like 10 more. Okay, make sure I made 13. I did. Guys, I know how to count. You proud of me? Mickey, Scrooge, and Goofy. Hey, Goof. Hi there, pal. Bonuelos? Gosh, I love these. I, I sure I'm glad Maribel's back, and all the delicious food Remy used to make her, too. I used to catch fish with, for the two of them. And then they'd organize big dinner parties for the whole village. Gee, I hope they have another party real soon. Thanks, Kyrie. Oh, hey. Where did this come from? I remember. <gasps> A butt. <laughs> uh, I also rem remember butts. Scrooge is probably in his store. Mickey is probably out running around somewhere. Wee. 
Scrooge, I got some food for you. Scrooge, here you are. But. Greetings, neighbor. But. <laughs> bless, bless me, bagpipes. When were those? I haven't seen a plate of these since before the beginning. They're from that fine young lass, Maribel, aren't they? Always so caring and kind, that one. A fine addition to the village. Uh, Maribel wanted to say thank ah. you for staying. Well, it's much appreciated, both her message and your delivery. Thanks to the both of ye. Bye -bye. No problem, Bob. Where's Michael? Michael, are you at your house? You are. Let's go. Riding around. The speed of sound. Places to go. Follow the raid boat. Hi, Michael. Yeah, like how she's sitting in the doorway. They're like, Hi, she, pal. she can't see me. Oh boy, a plate of buenuelos. Thanks, Kyrie. They're from Mar Oh, they're from Bar Maribel and me. Thank you for staying in the village, no matter what. Gosh. That shower's nice of you. Say, maybe I should pick a pie to welcome Maribel back. Before the beginning, me and I used to go on lots of hikes and picnics in the peaceful meadow with Maribel. We talked for hours. It was a blast. Well, thanks again for the wind wheels, Kyrie. See y'all real soon. Hey, Maribel. Mickey Goofy and Mc Mr. McDuck all came to tell me that they loved the wind yellows. He's right there. Also, no, they didn't. You've been following me. You're a dirty little liar. Thanks so much for helping me find the recipe again and making them so well. I love knowing that they're part of Shea Remy's menu now, so I can share them with everyone. You know, you're really making the valley feel like home. Can't wait to see where the next adventure is. Yay! Okay, um... Unlock character, so we just need to get her to level 7 for her next quest. Um, can't do that, and we just need to find toys for that, so literally we can't do anything right now. Oh, no, I can bring this paper to Donald. Dolan? Do Dolan? Dolan. I have this quest active right now. I can't do anything! I need to eat. Uh, eat this shit that I didn't, I wasn't supposed to make. There's Donald, you can tell, because he's screaming over there. Did you know you're practically everyone's hero here? Yep. Hi, Donald. Ow! Olaf wanted me to give you these so you can write the scripts. Whack. What's the big deal? He wants me to write the whole story down, too? Grumble, grumble. Oh, and he wanted me to ask you one more thing. Are you starting the plays yourself? That's it. Olaf's making me do too much work. I had to tell him the story over and over and over and over again while eating popcorn. You too, huh? Now he wants me to write it all down for him. And star in the hardest role in the whole play. You think playing yourself would be hard? Hmm. I guess it would be able to keep up with your energy. Exactly, it's exhausting being me. Imagine how exhausting it would be me. It would be to be me playing me. I'm done. Tell, tell off he can write the script himself. And he better buy, find somebody good to play Donald Duck. Because Donald Duck's not going to do it. Wow, what a dick. Where's Olaf? Uh, boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Olaf? Do you exist currently? Olaf, does do you exist? You're not in there. Oh, there you are. You're literally right behind me. Olaf. Hey, Donald said fuck you. Donald doesn't want to star as himself in the play, huh? Oh. Well, that's okay. Between you and me, I wasn't sure he had the act skill to be convincing. He doesn't have the skill to act like himself. Oh, but now we'll need to find someone else to play him. Someone who can capture his... Pluckiness. Oh. Well, no one is as plucky as my friend Anna. We'll need to ad ad audition... Oh, wait. We'll need to ad audition at least a few people. We should try to find someone who can capture Donald's... Courage. Yeah, we should, we should get Buzz Lightyear to audition. He's got a lot of courage for someone who's under a foot tall. 
You also need to find out find someone who captures good looks. Oh, I know. We want to find someone who looks like Dotto. We should ask his uncle, Scourge McDuck. Great, so I'll go audition Mr. McDuck, Buzz Lightyear, and Anna. And I'll take the high-quality high paper and probably can start writing the scripts. It's about... down. This is the best day okay, well, Anna is at her house. Anna, let me in. I like you have choice. Unless you're sleeping, I think you can always just Would go in like their to house. Something together? Hey, you're here. I love putting on a play. That's so exciting. Would you be interested in auditioning for the role of Donald Duck? Yeah. Uh, yes, of course I would. That was not my... I did not expect you to answer it like that. That's such a complex role. Plus, I'd love to have Olaf. Great. Just make sure that you rehearse a lot so you can... bring your own spin to it. <laughs> oh, I definitely will. <clears throat> hey, what's the big idea? Or... Hey, what's the big idea? Hmm. Thank you so much. Don't ask me why that's Donald's voice. I just refuse to do his actual voice. What's the big idea? Where's Buzz? Is he at his house? He's outside his house. We're going to teleport there. Awesome dub. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, I already forgot. Buzz. You want me to audition for a play? Hmm. What's the role? Donald Duck, we thought you could pull off his, the bravery and heroism needed for the part. <laughs> Why, um, thank you. I'm flattered. Perhaps I, sh I should audition for you right now. Uh, okay, but it's actually Olaf who needs you to... Mm-hmm. Uh, yep, uh -huh. Just getting into character. Hello there. I am Donald Duck. Uh, could you try it with a little more emotion? Of course. Let me take it again from the top. Uh, Hello there. Uh, I uh, am Donald uh, <laughs> Duck. Uh. Thanks, bye. Roger that. Thank you for your direction. You, my friend, are a real professional. Go infinity. Sure, I am. Thanks, bye. <laughs> we always know we're Scrooges. I need more food. Uh, I still need to sell these before I eat them on accident. Let's do that real quick, because I'm going to forget. Here you go. You can have all this. That's ten thousand dollars right there. Mm -hmm. I did it. Uh, catch shrimp. Okay, well, I'll do that later. Scrooge, I need you to look like Donald. You already are missing the pants, so you know what? You're like halfway there. Greetings, neighbor. You want me to audition for a play? Hmm. How would the salary be? Uh, the love of, a, of a, an, an adoring crowd. Ugh, doesn't sound like there's much profit in acting here, is there? Well, how much of my time will I be needing to invest? Well, you need to learn all the lines, attend rehearsals, do the performances. You can probably just wing it, though. Curse me, Kilt. Sounds like you want me to invest hours of my fairly valuable time for no return. Ah. I have to think on it. What's the part? Uh, certain nephew of yours? Mm -hmm. You want me to play my nephew Donald? No deal. Even if the returns were worth my time, I cannot begin to fathom the working of that lad's mind. <laughs> Best of luck finding somebody who can. Bye bye. That works. I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to be Donald either. <laughs> uh, poor duck. Nobody likes him. Where is Olaf now? Uh, ba ba da ba da ba. Why is that song stuck in my head? Where am I right now? I'm right here. I need more food. Pancakes. There is only one Donald. I think. Hi, it's me, 
Oh, Kyrie, did you talk to Mr. McDuck? Buzz Lightyear and Anna about a dish take for the play? Uh, yeah, Mr. McDuck said the pay wasn't worth it. And Buzz, I don't know if he's got the range for this role. Mm. What about Anna? She said she'd love to audition. I think she'd be great. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Anna will be the perfect for per will be perfect for the role. Let's call audition her right now. See you soon. Oh, she's oh she's literally right here. Nayla, Olaf, I'm here to audition for you to for your play in the middle of the woods. Wonderful. Here's the script. I'll be Kristoff. <laughs> Ooh. It's very dramatic. I know. All right. Places, ev places, everyone, and begin. No, Donald, don't jump through that mysterious portal. It's too dangerous. Ah, oh, fooey. I'm not afraid of a portal. I'll get that orb of courage back myself. Out of my way. Okay, okay. I've heard enough. Congratulations, Anna. You're our new Donald Duck. Great. There's two of them now. Oh, thanks. This is going to be so much fun. Fun is definitely a word you could use. Today, I think I'll contempt the beauty of existence. Dude, I do that every day. Did you see how well Anna and I captured our role? Did she really said anything? Don't worry, I can feel the magic. And the audience will too. You saved this production, Kyrie. Now we just need some time to practice. That's amazing. Okay. So that was enough time. <laughs> that was enough time to practice. I'm so glad you're here. It's almost time to put on our play. And there's so much work left to do. My nose is itchy. And my eyelid won't stop twitching. Kyrie, I think I may be experiencing anxiety. How can I help? <clears throat> well, we've got the stage and our script and our cast. But we don't have any props or a set. We need some scenery to make the stage look like the Forest of Valor. Tell me, Kyrie, would you say you're artistically inclined? Absolutely not. Um, this is going to be a, a disaster, but stage cutouts it is. Don't worry, I believe in you. I'll go find I'll go find some dry wood to make the cutouts. Maybe grind some green passion lilies, white impatience, and some orange march milkweed to paint them. Oh, that sounds perfect. I can picture it already, and I'll keep picturing it as I go. Find the props while you make all that. Craft the cutouts. I think I already have everything. <laughs> um, probably under furniture, right? Yep. Oh yeah, I have more than everything. Where did he go? Oh, he's just over here. Olaf, I'm done. Oh, these are perfect. Okay, we've set the scene, but there's one final thing we need to do to really sell the illusion. The costumes. We need a Donald Duck mask. Anna's been handling wardrobe. Could you talk to her? I gave her some very specific instructions, and it sounds like she might need some help. Hands down. This is gonna go well. Where did Anna go? Did she go back home? She's just hanging outside her house. In the rain. Eh. I do it too. Hi, Anna. Wait a second. I need Would to eat like those last. No, I need to eat this waffle first. Okay, now what? Hi. Oh, you're here. Thank goodness. I've been so busy dealing with the rest of the costumes that I haven't had time to make the Donald Duck mask yet. Mm. Olaf is really specific about what he wants it to look like. <laughs> it sounds a little strange to me, but who am I to question his artistic vision? Mm. We'll need some fiber, softwood fabric. <laughs> Oh, and some Donald Duck feathers. I guess I could just pluck a few off of them. Uh, please don't do that. Let me think. Well, if you were looking for strands of my hair, then check my hairbrush. Hey, maybe there are some feathers in his house. 
Okay, I'll come talk to you once I've got everything. I think the only thing I don't have is the feathers. Game says I don't have anything, but still, I'm pretty sure I do. Eh. I think it's all in the one chest. I don't know if we have enough fiber, though, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I just leave feathers really hanging, hanging around my house, too. Quick run before he notices we were here. So you're going to play Dark Souls with a blindfold on? No. I don't think I've ever, I would ever do that. Unless someone paid me a lot. I've just never played the Dark Souls games. Um, I'm out of food. I need to eat my my food. Sag, I mean, if you, if you got enough money, uh, I'll do it. Just how much is enough money? I don't know. Um, fiber, soft wood, and fabric. That's not the chest I need. Um, fiber, soft wood, Elden Ting. Um, blindfolded? That would probably cost more, honestly. For to play Eld Elden Ting. And softwood. Anna, where'd you go? I already forgot where you were. Oh, you're outside your house still. Hi, Elsa. Anime Souls? Uh, I, I think I've... I think that's technically the only one I've played. The Code of Ain. That, that, I played that. That was good. I'm, I have plans to play that w at some point. In the future. Hey, you're here. Oh, looks like you've gotten everything we need to make the Donald Duck, duck Mask. I'll put it all together. Uh-oh. What's wrong? The mask. I built it exactly to Olaf's specifications, but it doesn't fit me very well. I can't see out of the eye holes, and the feathers keep poking me. I'm sorry, Kyrie. I don't think I'm going to be able to wear this. Uh. Olaf will have to find someone else to play Donald Duck if he wants them to wear this costume. Oh. Could you break the bad news to him? Yeah. Really sorry. Oh. But I'm sure there's, there's someone else here whom this mask would fit perfectly. Yeah, Donald. Oh no. Oh no. Thanks. Oh, I can't put it on yet. Uh snowboy, snowboy, snowboy. Snow that you're not a snowboy. Why are you down on the beach, bro? Snowboy, there you are. What are you doing? Hey, I found this this mask. Uh, it's not great. Oh, so glad you made it. Uh, Kyrie, why are you bringing the daughter of that mask to me? Anna's the one who will wear it. It doesn't fit, Anna. She can't see out of it. We'll need to find someone else to play the role. <gasps> oh, no. The show will be ruined. Villagers are already buying their tickets and starting to gather. <laughs> Deep breath in. <gasps> Deep breath out. Okay. Who else could play Donald Duck? We need someone who is brave and plucky and leaps into danger without thought for themselves then. You tried Code Vein and it wasn't for you? That's fair. Um, Kyrie, would you try on this Donald Duck mask? If you need me to, I'll do it. Hooray! I see one big problem. I don't know the lines. Well, that's okay. You can just make it up. The most important thing is embodying the character. Here, put the Donald Duck mask on and let's rehearse. This is not going to go well. I hate it. Yeah, I got a thing. Donald Duck, is that you? <laughs> Dude, I'm just kidding, Kyrie. I know it's you under there, but you look wonderful. Huh? From a few feet away, someone would really mistake you for the actual Donald Duck. I agree. Okay, let's rehearse. <laughs> Hmm. 
nice mask. Thanks. <laughs> Aha, it is I, the courageous once bit an ice deliverer, Kristoff. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm Ronald Ruck. Psst, you're making some interesting choices. Oh. Together, my feather friend and I are on a quest to stop the forgetting and restore the valley. Who's that over there? It's some sort of dark entity stealing the arm of courage. It's time for your big line, Kyrie. Wally. Um, I think that's more of a Wally thing to say, but I like that you're experimenting. Quick, the dark entity is escaping through the mysterious portal. Psst. Okay, Kyrie, it's time for your big set. Leave it to the air like you're jumping through the portal into a dark, mysterious world. I'll nail this part. I'll stop you, you vile villain. Perfect. This time was very convincing. As for your performance overall, uh, you've made some bold choices that are sure to be divisive with the audience, but I liked them. <laughs> now what you need to do is set up the stage in the Frosted Heights so we can put on the play. He hands me an entire stage. Okay, but wait. I think I have some better clothes for this. <laughs> Do I have a Donald Duck shirt? I'm pretty sure we got one at one point, didn't we? Maybe it's under a coat. Uh, just in case we don't, we'll put that on. Hmm. There it is. There it is. Uh, okay, now how do I take off my pants? <laughs> I guess his, his his legs are white. Mm. Ooh, that's a little. That's better. Yeah. Um, do I have any yellow shoes? Anything better? Heels. Donald doesn't wear heels. Nope. Okay. Um. What else? Uh. Oh, I. I think I recently bought gloves that would be perfect for this. White silk gloves. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this shit. <laughs> uh. Put this anywhere. I'll put it in this empty space over here. Put on all of us play in the Frosted Heights. <laughs> uh, how do I zoom out? Stupid trees. I like how Maribel is just right next to the stage. Um, oh yeah, you can't see my face. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I hate it so much. Excuse me. Hi, I find myself in need of some help. Hello. Oh, Kyrie, you brought joy back to the valley. So many villagers came out to see our play. Anna, Buzz, Donald, Samantha? Who's Samantha? I'm not sure, but I hope she enjoyed the play. I feel like we didn't just tell a story together. We lived one. Oh. We did, and I want you to take the stage and all the cutouts we made. Thanks. Oh, that's a box. Now you can use them to decorate the village however you like. Oh, and I've got something special for you. It's a cloud. Uh, for Elsa, they be made me by permafrost. She gave me a flurry to follow me around, so I wouldn't melt. I asked her to make you one just like it. It's like a little reminder of me that you can have with you always. <laughs> I hope we get to tell a lot more stories together. I knew you could do it. I get the scary squirrel. 
I have no idea. I thought it was going to be like, like a thing that would follow me around, but it's a furniture piece, I guess. What would it be under? There it is. Yeah, it's, it's literally a cloud, a cloud. Let's put it in front of my house. Because it, it, then it, if it snows, then I'll be able to notice it over here. Just put it right there. Donald Duck, away! Oh, I don't, I, I need, hang on. I need a uh, thing. Donald Duck, away! I mean, I'm Donald. Whack. Ah, fooey. Uh, better way to sell my magic so I can't use it on store. <laughs> cool. There's just a cloud that constantly snows in front of my house. <laughs> I hate it so much. Okay. <clears throat> I think, yeah, the only other quests, we can't, we can't level up Maribel. I mean, we can, but it'll take a while. Uh, I can't do that till tomorrow, and this is just going to take forever to find. So, uh, that's going to be it for this game today. So I'm going to end that YouTube recording. That was probably going to be grinding off screen, but I'll take pictures and stuff. Okay, bye, YouTube.